Alright, so Fantasy Foot Team 2 has now dropped in Ultimate Team. As you can see on the screen, it does feature some really nice items, one of which we're going to focus on today. But don't worry, there is going to be a Martinelli review later tonight, so stay tuned for that. But in the comments below, I want to hear from you guys, which other players from this team do you want to see videos on? If you need some coins to improve your Ultimate Team, the cheapest place to get them is at IG Vault, and there is a link in the description. And if you use the code Kieran at checkout, you'll get yourself an even bigger discount off your order. Anyway, in this one in particular, we are going to focus on Rod Rigo, a player who in past FIFAs has had some really, really overpowered items. So I'm pretty interested to see how this one's going to get on within Ultimate Team. Also, what do you guys make of the chances of this card getting, you know, quite a few upgrades? Obviously, Leeds not having the best of seasons, but they are a team that on their day can compete. So it'll be interesting to see how and if this card gets the boost that it obviously is available for. Anyway, I'm rambling. Let's look at this card. Four star skills, three star weak foot. Big shame about the weak foot. A um, couple of traits though. Best one though being the finesse shot. In-game stats wise, plenty of pace. Love to see that in regards to his shooting ability. Nice shot power. Pretty good composure also of 91. Very nice short passing rating of 90. Long passing though is lacking at just 70. Dribbling department though is pretty solid for most part highlighted by the 90 ratings for in-game dribbling agility and 92 ball control and then finally he does actually have some really nice physicals and um, so hopefully can be a bit of a menace for those would-be defenders. In regards to a chem style honestly you've got choices I think finisher is a really good choice for him makes his shooting really nice and brings up his dribbling too I also think maximum's really good because that pretty much does the same and you get the physical boost as well let's be honest he doesn't really need the pace boost that's already really nice and um, but all that being said another chem style that I want to throw out with this card is basic because when you look at it it's actually a really really good boost for him brings his dribbling up nicely uh, brings his pace up too physicals come up and yeah I actually think overall basic is actually a really really nice choice if you don't want uh, to boost the finishing too much but if obviously you want the finishing boost uh, you are gonna have to go with uh, one of these select chem styles into G1 we go, and we are going to be up against an interesting team. Um, Prime Icon Moments Cantona in this guy's starting 11. And also an Inform Mbappe. Very nice team. Cool. Into the path of Rodrigo. Does really, really well to hold off his man there before getting out to Mane. Oh, nice. Great bit of play. Cruyff with the chance. And early doors, we take the lead. Good ball from the Spaniard as well. And so well to stay on his feet there, but the run was offside. Chance. Oh, go and get to that. Oh, I got a foot to it, but sadly just not a clean enough connection. Bit of space. Deflection. Oh, it's gone in. Okay, that got very, very fortunate. We did green tam it, so I was hoping it was going to go in, but I think the deflection is what's guaranteed it hit in the back of the net. And there's the rage quit. Straight into game two we go, and this time it's... A bit more of a basic squad. What's this meant to be like? I was going to say ex Barcelona, but it's not because there's players not from there in. It's just a strange team. Nowhere near as good as the first one. Great ball from Cruyff. Rodrigo from distance. Oh, it was a good strike, you know, and it's gone for a corner. Yes, Rodrigo. Love that. And quick rage quit in that one. Alright then, game number three. Plenty of special cards on at show, and I'm not looking forward to playing against that defence. And you know the player who scares me the most? It's not actually Varane, it's that Koza. I hate playing against him. Oh, he's done well. He's done well to slide that through, and that's 1-0. Why is everyone quitting at 1-0? It's just some objective that I'm unaware of tonight. For context, I'm in Division 1. I know I got relegated because of the reset, but like... What is going on? Let's play another game then, and this time, very nice team. French themed and a good back line. Nice. Good run in behind. Oh, it's a, I've just realised it's a duo. It's a co-op. Um, I know I shouldn't do this, but I am going to quit out of this game because we're playing co-op. Um, because it doesn't feel like a fair review. I hope that makes sense to everyone. Like, I don't want to be doing a review when there's two people pulling defenders out of position just because it's it's not as natural. It just I just don't think it's fair for the player review. Anyway, we move on into game number five. Like, this will be my, my fifth game in, like, 30 minutes. This is mad. And team number five is this. Messi, Ronaldo, and Neymar. In, like, previous FIFAs, that would be terrifying. 
Right, because that means, you know, they're either really good or they've just got loads of coins. In this FIFA, it just means that you got 200k because all three of them are pretty much fodder. Rodriguez, long ball. Into the path of Cruyff. He's going to try and take on his man. Oh, we're going to nab it back. Keeper's not going to move, but it's not going to matter. We're just going to chip it in the back of the net anyway. Ball's whipped in. There's a chance. Rodrigo gets to it, and Rodrigo scores again. All right, so we lead at the break, but as you can see, pretty close game. I feel like we dominated for like the first 20 minutes, but like the last 25 minutes and a half, he absolutely dominated. So, yeah, need to be better. Bruno puts the ball in behind. Here's Rodrigo. Bit of keeper movement. Does not matter. He slams it home. Space. Chance. Oh, should be equalising there. Mkhitaryan. Oh, brilliant finish from Rodrigo there to level us up. Chance as best drills the ball through. Rodrigo's going to get in behind here. Here's a chance. Will there be a bit of keeper movement? We're going to go for the dink. Oh, it's a beautiful finish from Rodrigo. Right footed chip to put us back ahead. Oh, what a goal. What a goal from the Bruyne. Rodrigo with the setup. Well, what a game that ended up being. Like, he made a brilliant comeback, then we made a big comeback, and then we just ran away with it. But what a strange game. All right, then, that'll do us. We've had quite a few outings now with Rodrigo, and he ends with a really positive record of six goals, three assists in five games. And let's be honest, it wasn't five full games either because of the quits from the opposition, and obviously we did quit out of one game because we was up against a co-op. Anyway, what did I make of this card? Actually quite good. Much better than I was expecting. I'll say straight away, it's not an elite you know, top tier striker option. However, there is a bit of potential with this card because I do already think he is quite, you know, pretty damn good. And obviously there is uh, a chance of upgrades as well. Definitely could do with a boost in that weak foot department, but we obviously know that's not coming. That's not what this promo is about, but that is obviously one of the limiting factors of this card. The right foot is just nowhere near as good as the left, whether that be a shot or a pass. So, uh, you know, that is a shame. Anyway, what is it to like about the card? A lot, to be honest. The pace felt great. You saw in the footage he would regularly get into good positions and outpace the would-be defenders. He'd also make some really nice runs in behind, and he was relatively easy to find with through balls as well. On top of that, he's also also got really good aerial ability as you can see 92 jumping he's got uh, he's obviously stands at six foot so he's a good height and in game aerially pretty damn solid scored a couple of corners from me uh, for me sorry but he was also good at just winning the ball back whether it be from like a goal kick or just a hoof up the field so you do have different areas that you can play this guy in in regards to you know his play style he doesn't have to be just running in behind he can also hold up play because of his physicals um, so pace, big thumbs up, and physicals, big thumbs up as well. In regards to his shooting, as long as you keep it on his left foot, you're going to be fine. But as soon as you go on top right, there's just a chance that it could go anywhere. Now, I did actually score some nice goals with his right foot, and he certainly is capable with his right. It's just obviously nowhere near as reliable as that left. But um, yeah, inside the box, outside the box, the guy scores goals and he does feel like he has very, very good shot power in game. In regards to his passing, it's pretty much what you see is what you get. But uh, the occasional long pass slash through ball uh, can be quite nice. And you saw that in the footage. And got to give him, give him credit. Three assists for a striker, pretty nice. And some of the assists that he got for me was uh, very, very good too. Finally, the dribbling. Felt quite good for someone who's six foot tall, to be fair. Like, I think he actually feels quite nice on the ball and was actually quite fun to run with. And I think not that just isn't because of the dribbling. It's because of the pace and the physicals as well. So he can beat, like, defenders not just for pace, but also for strength. So, all in all, this card, it surprised me. It was much better than I expected it to be. And I actually think it is a very good striker option so definitely one or two consider especially if you're working on a budget i kind of want to see him get the upgrades now just to see how good this card can get so um yeah I, I quite like it he's currently going for about 8k on playstation and as i say i think that's pretty good value for this card especially considering it's a live item that can get better so yeah decent value on this one it's not you know a must-have it's not you know elite of the elite but I think it's a pretty damn good striker. And as I've said numerous times, much better than I expected it to be. So, yeah, I like it. Um, one comparison I am going to do, actually, just let me bring up Footbin. Um, this one might surprise a lot of people. When doing like comparisons to um, like Premier League striker options, like I actually prefer him over this Werner, who's like nearly 500k. So that might surprise some people, but honestly, I do. So, yeah, pretty good, pretty good. 
So guys, those are my thoughts on the Rodrigo Fantasy Foot item. Hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have, drop a like rating on it. As you can see in the background, that is team number two. If you want to see reviews on any of them, let me know which ones in the comments. I'm not going to lie, I can't afford Dembele. He's just too much for me. I've only got like two mil. So uh, unless his price drops, I sadly won't be able to bring you a video on him. But um, I think you all know there will be a Martinelli video very, very soon. So look out for that. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next one.